Alright, after hatching my two first successful monarch butterflies, which is really cool, um, I've got a little problem. We've got I've had a couple of the caterpillars die and uh, a couple issues going on here. Let me show you real quick. It's very interesting. If you look down here in the bottom, you see these larvae down here. I believe they are fly a technic fly larvae. I'm not sure how you say it, but what happens, and the reason why I can tell is See that little tiny string hanging down right there? That's an indication that something's wrong. And if you look in, on the back side, this thing's got a dark spot on it right there. That is not right. I think that's a larva in that one. See this guy right here? He's got a little string hanging down on him. And I got a dead one back here that one fell down on. And that's a dead one right here. Caterpillar. And I think that's where they came from right there. So, we're going to have to clean this entire cage out. we still got some lar um, some caterpillars in here. And they, what they do is they somehow get into them and plant their eggs on them. And then they eat into them and kill them. So, we're going to have to kind of clean this out, check, see what's going on. And I know this one up, this one up here is not going to survive. I know for a fact. I see it. He's inside there. I guarantee you. All right, let's go right here and clean this up. And uh, I'm going to look at these a little closer, do a little examination on these guys right here. Stay tuned. All right, I just dissected this caterpillar in half. And check this out. There's a larva inside of him. See that? Look at him. It's alive. That has got to be one of these fly larvas inside of this caterpillar. They lay eggs in them and they... They grow inside the caterpillar. I got another one here. I don't know if he's got one in it or not. But let's try, check this one out right here. There's a larva right there. We're going to destroy that larva, that's for sure. Let's cut this guy in half. And then see what's in him. Look! Y'all see that? Two larvae coming out. Look at them. Oh, we're going to do this. Is there anything in this side? Nothing. Yep, there's another one right there. Three baby fly larvae. Look at him. He's moving. Look at it. Three larvae inside of this caterpillar. And that's where our problem exists right here. Hold. Oh, my goodness. I got one over here, too. Didn't know it at the time. I cut, a, I cut another caterpillar up over here. Oh, he's got multiple ones in him, too. Let's see what he's got here. There's another one right here. Let's get him on film here. Look, look at him coming out of there. Look at that. The larva's inside the caterpillar. This guy right here is crawling over here. I can't see him. I'll get him over here in a second. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. That's where these flies are coming from. Right there. Look at that. Look at that right there, guys. The fly, the larva is. What they do, they lay eggs inside of the caterpillar, and then they grow inside, and that's what kills the caterpillar. Look at that. They are crawling everywhere. Ooh, man, oh man, oh man. I don't know if there's any more left in here or not, but they have eaten. That's what's killing the caterpillar right there. And this, these fly things that I showed you before over here is a result right here. These are, this is what's coming out right here, these flies. I'll do a close-up of them flies right there, but that right there is amazing. Wow. These guys are really living on my cat. Look at that. Look at those guys right there. Larva. Unbelievable. Well, I know it's killing a few of mine. We've had two successful uh, ones uh, hatch and fly out, and I got one right now getting ready to hatch, and I'll try to get a video of that, but... That is very interesting right there. You can notice that the caterpillars, a lot of times when they're infected, I can tell they're real skinny. They're not big and fat like some of them get, so I know they're infected. So hopefully I don't have any more. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on things. I don't know how to stop them yet. I haven't read up on that yet. We'll have to figure out how to try to prevent this from happening in the future right there. Wow. Okay. That's pretty crazy right there. All right. Let's keep checking out what else we got here. All right, y'all ready for round two? I found this caterpillar dead in the cage. You think anything's inside of him? I'm going to bet we cut him open, we're going to find some larvae in him. Let's check it. Y'all ready? Here we go. 
Let's see what's inside. I can't believe these things. It's amazing to me what goes on in nature here. But, you know, they say these flies are actually good. Uh-oh. What y'all see coming out? Look. It's crawling out right now. Look at it. Here he comes. And it's more than one. Look at that. Two. Three. Four. Look at that. These guys inside this caterpillar killed the caterpillar and got four larvae inside of him. Look at that. Oh my God. In nature, amazing. Well, I hopefully, I tell you, I don't know how many more I got in here. I'm going to have to check it out. Wait a minute. I got one up here at the top. Might be the same problem. I don't know. Hard to say. Man, I think some of my uh, chrysalises are still um, not looking good, too. So it could be some more of these guys inside some of the chrysalises. We'll have to keep an eye on those. But uh, Houston, we have a problem. Not sure how to eliminate these things from uh, getting into my caterpillars. But uh, we've had two successes. So, I mean, they're not all going to die, that's for sure. But that one had four of it in it. Look at that. Four larvas inside this one caterpillar. He was sitting there not moving. I said, wait, wait a minute, let me check on him. And sure enough, those guys had killed him and took him over and using him for, for food. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's check out some more. All right, is everybody ready to slice in this chrysalis and see what's wrong? That is definitely not normal, that black spot there. And that black spot there is not normal for one of these. So we're going to see what's inside this thing right now. Here we go. You ready? Let me see if I can get a good angle on it so I can cut into it. Let's see if we can cut this way, maybe. All right, it's not cutting good that way. Let's cut, open it up right there. Let's see what we got here. All right, I don't see any kind of larva in it. I think it's just destroyed it. That is just destroyed inside. I thought it might be a larva inside, uh, some kind of larva, but it just has killed it. I guess maybe one of these guys here uh, had already eaten it killed it and dropped out or something i'm not sure but that is nothing there ah, that's nasty ain't it oh well let's keep looking and see what we can figure out what's causing these things to get into that stuff all right quick update of the caterpillar habitat here we got still got a lot of nice size uh, uh monarch butter uh caterpillars here working the working my pumpkin out and eating it up right here and I do have some butternut squash in here too, but they're eating it up. And but as you saw, we do have some issues with some of the uh, those flies getting inside of them. Normally they say they'll be real skinny when the flies get in them. They don't they don't fatten up. Be like that guy is fat. He ain't got nothing in him. I say. But up here at the top, we do have several uh, ready to go. This one right here is getting ready to hatch real soon, right there. And we got another one right there. I'm not sure about this one right here. He's a little shaky. He's kind of skinny and he's. Kind of dormant he's not hanging yet like it's supposed to so he could have a problem this one over here i think is just about ready to hatch too so we do have some hatching so we, we're having some success but we're having some failures too uh we're getting uh keeping them fed good keep them moist and um keep getting out but we are hatching monarch so we're, we're succeeding we got two out already so anyway it's just a little quick update all right, this is a picture of an adult tachinid fly. There are over 1,300 species of this fly, and their look can vary. They normally lay an egg on a host, such as a caterpillar, but some of them can lay eggs on moths, beetles, uh, wasps, bees, sawflies, and other bugs like that. Um, they do eat them. Once they get that egg laid, it buries inside, and they eat them from the inside out leaving the vital organs till last until there's nothing else left to eat. Uh, although this guy sounds ferocious, he does have a positive side. They typically feed on pollen and they can be important pollinators, especially up in the mountains where the bees are, are not as plentiful as they are sometimes down in, in the lower regions. All right, I know that's more than y'all probably want to know about a um, attacking the fly, but I just find it so fascinating how nature works and everything.